Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing this last on this magic Monday. Wish it was Sunday. But anyways, nah, for real, I wish it was Sunday, for real. But anyways, if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings to you. And thank you for your support. And if you're a returning sub, love and blessings to you, and namaste, and thank you for your support also. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101. We are who we came with. Now, guys, oh my goodness, I was like, like I tell you about when I'm always constantly on Facebook. Let me turn this down. I'm over here listening to my reggae resort. See, I got Bob right behind me. I got Bob on my shirt. You know, just had me a good meditation in the shower, and it felt so good. And just finished cooking and all that stuff. So it's like relax, relate, release time. So I said first I was just going to be chilled out today and said, oh, okay, I want to go make no video. And I was just like, you know what? I was in, my, in the shower and I was just like, you know what? Spirit guys told me I need to go ahead and talk, so I'm going to go ahead and talk. But it was a video, uh, post I put back a couple of years ago talking about uh, people are a mirror, mirror image of things that we need to change of ourselves. It's like some people we attract for us to be with on this path of our journey of life, you know, from a lesson or a blessing. And, you know, and there could be some people that come into your life and bring you so much joy. And there can be so many people that can bring you so much pain. And you have to decide about what is worth that time? What is worth that space? You know, and I, I, we were just talking about this yesterday. And it was just the comments that you lovely viewers that come see me. Uh, less comments and stuff like that. Because it, it's just like life is so precious. And it's just, we only got one chance. We only got one chance. Even though our souls are recycled and stuff like that this is i feel like this is my time from all the stuff that i went through as in the life i'm living now from my past life and all that stuff i must have really did some stuff <laughs> i must have really did some stuff and the people that i hung out with must have really did some stuff because boy oh boy i'm just like i feel like i'm living in a hell but it has brought me so much joy of all the pain that I've I've went through. And it was just my way of being, it was just I've lost so many friends because of my negativity and my depression. And it was something that I had to wake up and realize myself. It's just like, what do you need to change? Because it's just like it could be things that you go through on a, na a daily basis, the way our mindset. Uh, of, of thinking, the, our concept, our way of doing things on on, on a day to day basis. It, it's just certain things. It could be a good habit, it could be a bad habit. It's just like my eating habits have changed tremendously, and that was a good thing on me losing a lot of weight. But on top of the stress, <laughs> I lost a lot of weight too. So it it was just so many things I went through, and it's just like wow. It, it it's just like if I know this. The people are not adding anything to my life like any kind of joy or support they're not supposed to be there you don't have time for meaningless conversations like how's the weather you know what what what's such and such doing you know or anything like that you're like okay is this what you really called me for or you know or this is what you really text me for or emailed me for it's just like okay what's the point and then you have these people that are, you know, stop by and call you and leave you a text that just, it could be like, you could be having a really crappy day. And it could be that one text, that one text that somebody could send you that can put that big smile on your face. Just like, hey, you know, I'm just thinking about you today. And, you know, just wondering if you, you know, you could be writing a book like me. 
and then somebody could say, you know, I'm just wondering, did you need any help with your book or, you know, how's the book thing going? You know, then you know you have some people in your corner that you have a dream, like I was telling you yesterday. Um, when you have a dream and you have people that are surrounding you in your corner, those are the people you need to be with. And when you're a happy person, you tend to attract a lot of happy people. And if you're miserable, you tend to attract a lot of miserable people. <laughs> you're sad you tend to attract a lot of sad things and a lot of sad people and it's just we all have to go through it it's just like we're all playing like a big video game with our lives it's like a big soap opera with our lives we already know how this is going to pan out and it's just like the other day it's like certain things i would say and i'm like you know what i had a dream about this or it was like deja vu i've said this before you know, so it's just like when I see things, I know things are not accident when people come into your lives. And, you know, it could be a good reason. It could be a bad reason. But it, you have to reflect when you start pointing your finger saying you're this, you're that, you're that. You, you, you need to tell, you know, if that person is annoying you or whatever, just tell them, you know, you're really making me feel uncomfortable about this or you really make me feel bothered by this. You don't want to do name calling when you have incidents like that because when you do that it's like when you point one finger you got three or four point back right back at you because you're, it's like you're when you when you say something bad about somebody it's like you're saying it back, back about yourself so that's why i just try to make sure i'm very mindful of the words that are coming out of my mouth when i say them that's why i'm just like if i offend somebody i do apologize but it's just like I had to learn that my mom is like, girl, you never had no coof. You are not tactful. You know, because sometimes I would say stuff and don't realize that, you know, hey, that could have hurt somebody's feelings or something like that. And it wasn't about me being like that, I guess, because it was like the way I was raised. They were so brutally honest. That's how I was, I became on top of the habits that I've caught from my, you know, that came along with my genetics. So that really <laughs> was a good combination. So it's just like, I have my adopted family's attitude with my dad's attitude and my, you know, I guess with some of my mom's traits and stuff like that. But it's just like, ooh, that was a good combination. But it made me as the person I am today. And it's just like with you guys' love and support and all the prayers that you guys give out and stuff like that. It makes me really feel good and it's just to know that i'm healing as i'm helping you guys heal to make us we all gonna sit up here if i have anything to do with, we all gonna be on top if i you know if i gotta you know go ahead and be a student and teacher go nationwide whatever i don't mind doing that i don't care it's just the fact that i'm so sick and tired of always hearing about people dividing because of color or people dividing because of uh religion or sexual orientation or whatever you know we all live and breathe the same way we all bleed the same color of blood if you start bleeding some different color blood they need to test you because you're very special <laughs> but other than that it, it's just i make these videos because it makes me feel good that knowing that you know i might say something that somebody might be able to make some sense out of it. and i'm glad that I'm, when i see these comments i at least know somebody's on the same page as me and I'm not crazy because this is how I feel it, it, it's just like we are who we hang out with and that's why I can probably count my friends on one hand how many people I deal with and I'm good with that because I know all the people that God wiped out of my life they were wiped out of my life for a reason there ain't no reason for me to try to bring them back you know there might be a a person or two I might miss or whatever it, it might be just just the fact that I miss that person because of how they make me feel or I had you know miss them because they make good you know I really had good times with them or whatever or I just really love that person but if they're meant to be there they'll be there but just make sure that they are worth you taking them on your journey make sure they're worth you taking them on that ride so, I am not trying to take you guys' time up. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Even drop a comment. And I will talk to you later. Peace. And be wild. And send all the positive vibes. Pray for each other. Because I'll pray for you guys every day. I got my candles and stuff. You know, lit and everything. I don't play.
So you guys keep each other lifted up. Don't take each other down. We ain't got time for that. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.